Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today is our third day of TDEX Virtual Summer Camp. This week's activities are targeted at K through second grade, but we encourage viewers of all ages to follow along and we promise there'll be something fun for everyone. So today is Wildlife Wednesday. So we're going to be learning a little bit about the wildlife that you can find in your very own backyard, how to protect and preserve that wildlife, and how you can hopefully observe safely and learn a little bit more about them. So for today's activity, we will actually be making a tried and true method of a DIY bird feeder. So for today's activity, you will need a few things. Peanut butter or almond butter. We actually don't eat peanut butter in my household, so I will be using almond butter today. Um, and honey also makes a great alternative if you don't have either of those items on hand. You will need a knife or something similar to spread the almond butter. Bird seed. I have a mix of bird seed here that I got from my local store. Unseasoned sunflower seeds or whatever you may be able to find on hand will work just fine. Um, and then pine cones. So I'm lucky enough to have pine cones in my backyard, but if you aren't able to find one, you can always use the cardboard tube on the inside of a toilet paper roll. That works great as well. You will also need some sort of string. I have a natural jute twine right here and then some scissors to cut the string. So let's go ahead and get started. So Tennessee has many beautiful native birds. I've actually been hanging these up in my backyard for a little while now. And already I have seen some cardinals. I have seen um, a few woodpeckers, a finch or two. Tennessee's state bird is actually the Northern Mockingbird, and it's famous for its song. So each bird has its own unique call or song. And after you are able to watch the birds in your backyard for a little while, hopefully you can get good enough at recognizing them. You may be able to identify them just from their calls without being able to see them. Okay, so I've spread it pretty good on here. Oh, I missed a spot. So next, after you get it nice and coated with your peanut butter or almond butter, we're going to roll it around in the seed mixture so that it gets good and covered with food for the birds. So a lot of people think of doing this in the summer and they always have their bird feeders out in the summer. But then we often forget in the winter time to have our bird feeders full or to do fun activities like this because it's not warm. But believe it or not, birds actually have to eat in the winter too, just like we do. They aren't bears, they don't hibernate. So try to remember that this winter. Wipe my hands off. And keep your bird feeders full or do this fun craft, maybe as a holiday activity. And that way your birds will have food all winter long. So now I'm going to use my bowl to stand up my pine cone like this and wrap the string around it. You can hang it from either side, the top or bottom. It's just a little bit sturdier around the bottom. So I'm going to use that side. So I'm just going to tie it in a knot. And then I'm gonna wrap it and tie it again on the other side, just to be safe. And then it will be ready to hang. There we go. So earlier I mentioned a few substitutes that you can use when doing this craft. The toilet paper roll works very well. 
Um, but if you don't have any natural jute or twine on hand, try to avoid using things such as fishing wire or anything made out of plastic. We want to make sure that our bird feeder will naturally decompose in case maybe a squirrel or a raccoon gets a hold off of it and takes away with it. So in this post, there will be a link for a bird scavenger hunt that you can do yourself while you're watching your bird feeder. It is actually provided by the IMS Nature Center and it even has some of our native birds calls on there and you can try to identify them yourself. Thanks for watching this activity. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow will be Earth Friendly Thursday, so be sure to tune back in and see what fun craft or activity we have going on tomorrow. The video will be available for any time access on our website, TDEX Office of Policy and Sustainable Practices Environmental Education at Home. The link will be provided in this post. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the activity.